I do think that there's a demand for crazy on the internet. Listen, women are getting pregnant every day in America. Build back better, blah, blah, blah. They said, you have no authority. You're not the president. The president said, I said, call him. No, screw your freedom. They're a bunch of dumb shits. No offense. Don't hate the media. They come to me. Talk about manufacturing reality. To find out more, fuck around. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to your Liberty Radio on a Friday night. Today, my goodness, today is Friday, March 22nd, 2024. I am the Drizzle, and uh, let me be, hopefully, the last to wish you a very, very happy Skull and Bones Day today. Uh, did you Did you get the false flag? That you've been wishing for? I didn't. I fucking CIA Santa snubbed me again. Did not get uh, what I wanted, which was all out nuclear war. But maybe, maybe if we play our cards right, we might still be able to get there. Uh, before we get things started this evening, and eventually I'm going to figure out the exact right distance to sit from this microphone. We do have a Liberty Radio public service announcement that uh, we need to bring to the audience tonight before we get started, because we received word just a couple of hours ago, right before we went on the air, that the start of season 11 of Autonomy, which I believe was originally scheduled for today, the holiday, I thought it was kind of weird that it was scheduled for a holiday. Uh, Apparently, it has, in fact, been rescheduled uh, and now set to begin next Friday, March 29th. Now, what that means is you still have time to enroll if you have been riding the fence up until now. There is no better time than right now to start learning your way forward and begin writing your own script in life instead of being a pawn in somebody else's story, which I don't know if you've been paying attention to what's been going on in the world for the uh, last hundred and some years, uh, but that's pretty much what's going on, is somebody else trying to tell you what to do with your life. Uh, you can uh, learn your way out of that predicament, and uh, one of the ways you can get started is by Go into your keyboard and typing in getautonomy.info forward slash ignite and uh, do the, the clickety clack with the buttons, right? And, and, and for those listeners and viewers oh, in dear old Blighty, England, um, he, he, what he meant to say is uh, Autonomy 11 has been rescheduled for 29 March. Cheers. Taller. Where are you at? What you hauling? Oh, shit. I guess I should have said that first, right? Let's see, I had something I, else written down here. I'm a truck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drive me lorry. I'm a lorry driver. Yeah. Uh, as, as we get the festivities uh, underway this evening, shout out to everyone listening over on Radio 8424 over on Foxhole. Boom. Uh, They're picking us up and rebroadcasting us tonight all the way up until midnight. And uh, we we do that hard out at midnight, guys, so we don't let you know it's coming. The transmission just ends. And, of course, since we're broadcasting from the Great Smoky Mountains, Otale, Junalesli, Guahi, Osio, Shiyu, Shigujan, Gada, Shaganeli, Ama, Yesli, Dagsi. Yes, it's July. Anyways, right. What up, my homie? Yeah. 
<laughs> but yeah, this is this is open lines, ladies and gentlemen. This is your chance to be a part of Liberty Radio history. This is the wrong card. This is not what I'm supposed to be saying. That's for tomorrow night. I just want to say for the old church lady with the, the pointy glasses that's doing yeah. the closed captioning for us right now on the radio stream so people can read it while they're listening on the radio. Um, that what I just said was um, Cherokee gibberish. Th- thank you, Estelle. We, we appreciate you down there in the basement. Thank you, Estelle. Anyways, back to you, Drizzle. Yeah. Um, so the rules for uh, open lines, we've, uh, you know, we've said it before, but I'll say it again for those who didn't catch it the first time around. Uh, you don't have to, uh, it's, we do it through zoom, right? The zoom link is in the Liberty radio telegram channel. It's also sprinkled into a a couple of other dark corners of the internet as well. So you never know who might show up. Uh, but, uh, you don't have to turn on your camera. You know, if you're shy or you think you look ugly or any of that, if you got that type of psychological stuff, just leave your camera off. It's fine. Don't deal with it. Uh, but please, please turn your microphone on. Uh, or don't just, we, we won't respond to you if you don't turn your microphone on. That's how it works. Hey, Drizzle, is there any way that you can get them to Photoshop back in the missing teeth in my grill after filming? That'd be really cool. I'll get right on that. What's up, guys? Appreciate it. Good hey, what's going on, Rob? What's on your Doing mind tonight? <clears throat> uh, you know, typical clown world shenanigans going on you guys uh see that craziness over in russia oh yeah at the crocus theater haven't heard about it no (laughs) i'm sure nobody nobody's heard about that or seen graphic videos graphic videos pasted on the uh doom porn x or uh whatever social media you know well it did surprise me how quickly the, the video footage and the images, especially the one image, the long shot of like the roof on fire, you know, as it's like twilight. And it, it just looks so, so gorgeous, right? It's so picturesque. It's perfect. Well, it was a perfect I, picture to put on every fucking screen you could possibly get it on. Didn't Bristol look orchestrated has, at all. Has anyone totally asked, um, has anyone asked the important question? What was playing at the theater at the time? <laughs> yeah, I think it I'd was like probably. To know. Obviously, it was antagonistic and and you know and instigated um, a massacre. Maybe it was a Zelensky short. I don't know. I would do As... it. That would absolutely do it. No, no. I mean, was I mean, it like a movie I mean, theater? Make, or, you or... want to set the place on fire? I know that. What well, was it? Uh... Well, well, was it a movie theater or was it um, a big pile of thespians or, I mean, what's going on here? It was like a mall with a movie theater, I think. So. Oh, oh, so it was a movie theater. Yeah. It was, so, uh, oh my God. What if it was one of the Marvel movies, you know, but like with the Russian dubs, I, I, you know, watch it be a fucking Marvel movie that was on there. Well, you know, because um, that's all they do anymore. They just retread shit and then they and barf it around the world. Because there's there's nothing original in Hollywood anymore, man. <laughs> like, have you seen that Oppenheimer movie, Fifty yeah, Shades of Grey Bomb? I mean, come on, dude. They sure did tiptoe around his uh, philandering ways. The way he like to fuck other people's wives, kind of like cut that part out. Just yeah, it's insinuated. I just made the connection. Wait, the last time, dude? Yeah. yeah. Holy yeah. shit. He was pimping like I Ben Franklin, that. son. Oh, like yeah. His, his longest wife, I guess you would say, was uh, some other dude's wife that he invited out to the ranch for uh, the summer. And the uh, cuck husband didn't come. And next thing you know, she was pregnant. And he had to... Uh, they had that in the movie, at least. Oh, that's baller. But, but he apparently uh, had a reputation for trying to fuck his colleagues' wives. Wow. Oppenheimer was the Tupac Shakur of the Manhattan Project. He going to get your girl, Biggie. Watch it now. I mean, they, they basically said it without saying that there was people in the program that were uh, not, you know, <laughs> not 
on the up and up, you know, they were working, giving Russia everything that they were learning at the same time. But you know, that reminded me, Rob, the last but that's, time that's, that's anti-Semitism. So I, I should probably not talk about that. The, the last time I actually went to a movie theater and watched a movie was with my wife. And it was the sequel to Fifty Shades of Grey. Or maybe it was the, uh, is the three of them? It was the finale. <clears throat> tentacle porn? Fifty Shades Fif of Tentacle porn? <laughs> um, the Fifty Shades of Greyest? I don't know. It was the third round of Fifty Shades. And I went to see it with her in the theater. And, I mean, I was not prepared for what happened i you know i'd heard jokes about 50 shades hadn't read the books hadn't seen the first one hadn't seen the second one you know wife he said hey you want to go to the movie yeah sure man let's go let's go take in a movie oh by the Give way a... uh dylan's here yona fuck yeah uh right now yona is still higher than inflation and approaching hyperinflation um <laughs> And I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll get me a twelve dollar bucket. Yeah, and I'm of, not uh, far behind, so you guys are at some point are gonna have to moderate yourselves. So I'm like, I'll get me a twelve dollar bucket of popcorn, taking this movie. I'm feeling pretty good though. God damn, man, we get like fifteen minutes in and it's just sucking and fucking on the big screen. I'm like, God damn. I I'm looking around and literally there's like about maybe five or six husbands that were dragged in there or boyfriends or whatever. And the rest is just a sea of fucking estrogen, man. <laughs> Bunch of women. And looking they're at all just googly eyed. And I, I, it just felt weird. It felt weird, man. Like I kept, I was like, hey, babe, I got to do that. You got to go to the bathroom again. So I'm not going to the bathroom. I'm going outside to smoke. I'm embarrassed. Anyway, there's a good, there's a good percentage of ladies who um, like that. Uh, Giving up control thing, so it's not Red that surprising. Type shit. Yeah, it's not that surprising that uh, some poorly written bullshit would uh, stoke some fires. Here is Yona's housewife. pro tip. You know, people are always writing down the Yona pro tips and the tramp stamp jokes. Um, Yona pro tip for tonight: When in the red room, do not use harder as your safe <laughs> word. <laughs> just leads to confusion. <laughs> leads to all kinds of confusion. I can, yeah. I can see how that, that might get confusing. Yeah. Yeah. I've always found states work pretty good for safe words. Because, like, you know, you're just going at it. Uh, you're out of your mind. You know, just, just going to town. All of a sudden, you hear, Delaware, Delaware. The fuck? Like, it really snaps you out. <laughs> my god i've never been in that situation you know yeah. i think of all the u.s states that you could use for a safe word hands down best one hawaii <laughs> delaware afro man, afro man already knows delaware just sounds like toxic put it in her ass and made her say aye anyway <laughs> delaware just sounds like toxic waste and um you know Corporate banking corruption. <laughs> Delaware sounds like cell phone repair shops and laptop repair shops with all kinds of pedo, coke, and whore <laughs> porn on them. Um, shout out Dover. Anyways, Delaware. Did you, uh, somebody of mine sent me some video of some guy. I guess he has some internet following. I, he didn't even say his name, so I don't know who he was. But he was talking about how he had called it before you know the whole uh laptop scandal and all came real mainstream and said that hunter biden and a couple of the other you know sons and daughters of these uh senators were cia assets and mm -hmm. that's why none of this stuff is sticking because they work for the team and uh well, as duh. egregious as egregious yeah, I, I actually, I never really thought about that, but I mean, I just thought it was the, the position of power that the, the whole crime family had, but I never really thought of it on that well, level. Yes, but, but only because they sold out to the larger interest. 
I mean, it was obvious. It was obvious that you know a bunch of senators had their kids over there working on these gas boards, and it wasn't oh, yeah. like just a. It wasn't a Republican or Democrat thing, like everybody likes to. Oh no, believe. no, it's not it's even like, that. Yeah. I mean, uh, McConnell is is Rose married Mont into Mount the Angel. family of one of the most powerful uh, energy consortiums in China. For crying out loud, nobody ever talks about that. Uh, Rosemont Financial. Uh, which was in China, had um, uh, John Kerry and his wife Heinz, their kid, uh, Democrat. Uh, you had Hunter Biden. You had two. Uh, yeah, it, it it's both sides of the aisle that, that were on these different little pay-to-play schemes, um, quid pro quo, Joe. And while I had the opportunity, you know, fortunately I've had to limit uh, some avenues of contact that were previously open between Yona brothers and sisters, blood brothers and sisters. But I want to reassure my family members that were so worried about me that, number one, I did, did not vote for Biden in the uh, primary this past Tuesday. And I'm no longer a conspiracy theorist because all of my conspiracy theories came true. You can relax and rest assured now. I've moved on to collusion hypotheses. Anyways, I mean, CNN still pretending like everything they said was true. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't look now, Rob. There's a Russian right behind you. I, You know, Russia, Russia, Russia. <laughs> now are, you... are you drinking wine or borscht? Are you turning Russian? Well, I don't well, want to say have, anything. I have a question. Is, is that a cowboy hat or a fur hat? No, it's a cowboy hat. That's oh. cowboy hat. No, he's oh, okay. Ben's all right. Oh, but no, ben's I, have a, I have a question about this this whole Russian mass shooting deal thingy, whatever it is, false flag. I don't know. So does yeah, this, CIA operation. <laughs> whatever, whatever. It, it's an event. We'll just call it an event. All right. Does this now mean that that Russia's economy is as prosperous, at least as prosperous as the United States now that they're having mass shootings, too? Well, typically the mass shootings here, they're, you know, lone wolf, FBI contacted, uh, groomed shooters where this was like a group, a coordinated six of them, I think it was. Maybe I'm not getting that right, but I thought they said six in body armor with AKs and uh, apparently explosives on them as well. So, Oh, wow. I I, heard the explosives. Yeah, they apparently blew up the uh, roof on the place and it was collapsing. That was the last thing I saw. Wow. That sounds like fun. That's knocking butts, Joe Dirt. Jeez, oh, man. Well, the uh, U.S. Embassy in Russia was uh, warning. Like yeah, I saw hours that. They now. sent out a bulletin, what was it, like March 7th or something? Was it the March 7th? I thought it was like two so, days yeah. ago. Yeah, they said, you know, beware Americans in large uh, places, concerts. So does that mean that they uh, coordinated it? State Department, CIA? same beast well basically. it depends on on who actually and en- it ends up getting pinned on right because apparently Listen. they were going out and they were saying like <laughs> isis is taking credit for it and then like an hour later they're like no 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 isis <clears throat> isn't taking credit for it like Russia's no 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 like, no you people Come on, are retarded fellas. you're, you're overlooking the obvious the obvious history of russia that we've already established they already blew up their own Nord Stream pipelines. Right. And there's evil they bastards. obviously did this to themselves, too. Bro, stop punching yourself. It's not yeah. out of the realm of possibility, yourself, Yona. Bro. It's really not. Like, think about it. A, a false flag on your own population? Everyone in the world is going to blame it on who? Uh, Ukraine most likely is the first. Well, yeah, thing. and then by proxy, by proxy, the CIA and, and the NATO. If you want to, yeah, right. if you want to, right. Pretend. So why not? Okay, yeah, but, you gotta you gotta crack a few eggs in the process to make it look good. Well, I mean, I mean, wait, 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 wait a second. Well, Didn't well, Vladimir Putin, Vladimir Putin, just suspended all VPNs, made it illegal, so you're not 
allowed the VPN in Russia. I That's should correct. You not. And then immediately subsequent to that, he had his um, super turbo democracy election all across the Russian Republic. And uh, within the Russian Federation, I think he garnered like um, 82%. I don't know. He, he won by a landslide. Landslide, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and as soon as he won, won by a landslide, now all this hocus pocus at the theater crocus. So, you know, so was, was he, now, um, what's going on here? Was he riding a bear with no shirt on as part of the campaign? <laughs> I mean, 82% is pretty impressive. You'd, you'd have to do something like that. I think he already <laughs> used that gimmick. <laughs> I think yeah, somebody, I think he's done uh, that before. I think someone I think got 81 million votes, man. Seriously. I, I think someone took him from a horse and uh, photoshopped him on a bear. Are there but even 81 it. million people in Russia? I think there's 130 uh, million. I think so. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I think so. I, di I didn't I know if there'd be enough people for him to get 81 million votes. I just wanted to clarify. That's all. Well, they don't have, uh, now they don't have to all be living at the, at the current, you know, they don't have to all be alive. They just have to cast votes. Right. That's Democrats. Come on. Right, right, right. The, they're going by American standards. I'm hearing some racist undertones, Yoda. Vote from yeah, the grave and vote often. That's right. Requiring people to have ID to select their uh, slave master is racist. <laughs> Even though you need it for everything, you can have a job. I mean, you know, here is your chance to vote for kinder masters with softer whips, and you'll get longer chains, which means more freedom. Do the math, homie. Hashtag on, we all. Man. We all live on Jones Plantation. <laughs> yeah, this should be fun. I, you know, I'm wondering if there's going to be a uh, election this time around. to will find something to suspend mm -hmm. things, or if they'll just go ahead and keep people. All like, I know is that if you if you can get a fresh newborn baby under uh, Biden's nose come November, it's going to be one hell of an erection. Anyways. Yeah. Well, apparently, like the mainstream normies think that RFK is an anti-Semite because I uh, heard one of my girl. Well, I heard my girlfriend having a conversation with one of her friends. So they've and, inverted uh, the inversion now. Yeah. yeah. Like, wow. Wow. A, dude, we're dealing like, with some high-level uh, fucking black juju, man. It's like it's I don't wild. watch the main, fucking wild. I don't watch, I don't watch the mainstream shit unless somebody on a podcast like shoves it in to make fun of it. So. I don't see like the craziness that they come up with, but it's Jeez, like bro, you got to really do some like mental gymnastics to try to like paint that guy as an anti semite. I mean, no, even though, no doubt. <laughs> yeah. even though the Israelis probably had something to do with his uh, father and uncle's death, I yeah. mean, he's just he's anti everything. He's anti semite, anti. -vax, he's still playing the game. Anti COVID. He's, he's against he's all the got, good yeah. stuff. He's got, yeah, he's got Schmooley's Schmooley out there handling him like a you know good controlled asset, and somehow all that Jewish ball kissing did not get him um, you know broke free from that smear. Mm. Like who who isn't an anti semite? I, I'm not sure. That's that's been thrown around more the than Ashkenazi. like the Ashkenazi are not anti semites. I, you know, apparently somewhere in my DNA in uh, the 70, like 1750, I had a 100% Ashkenazi Jewish person. But huh. uh, I guess family like was one, infiltrated, Rob. I've, I've never done like the 23 and me, but my older brother and my daughter both did it. And it shows up in both of them. So I'm guessing I've been infiltrated. Do, do you look like those siblings? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> strangely enough. I mean, yeah, the old man's convinced that uh, the oldest one was the only one that was his. <laughs> the last letter he left on my door, anyway. <laughs> wow. It's like, damn. If you ever look at those, uh, those crazy filters that, like, age, the age pictures yeah. of you, like, I, I look just like that crazy old fuck. This is the worst part. If you if you use one of those filters, that's funny. Yeah, mental illness is well, a crazy thing. 
I guess we've we've kept the world in suspense for a while now, Yona. <laughs> of course, we figured it. We figured it out last night, right? That's right. Yeah, we we, we knew did. what the deal was with Kate uh, before anybody else. Matter of fact, uh, we did such a good job of sleuthing out objective reality last night that we forced Buckingham Palace to release a statement this morning. It's true, ladies and gentlemen. It's true. I actually that's have you, it right here. That's when you know it's working. Yeah. It's called Same. winning, Drizzle. We're winning. That's why we're being broadcast on, um, what was it again? Radio 8424? That's right. Where did you guys pick up the vibe from? You know, it. it I, I just sniffed it out of the ether, quite honestly. Do you really uh, and, think and we had some help from Big H? Uh, which he hasn't checked in yet tonight. Hopefully he will, and uh, we'll have something to say on the matter. Uh, but yeah, but I but I, I I was saying that we need to do that Photoshop extravaganza, <laughs> okay? So you know I was throwing that out there too. Yeah, I've heard people throwing around the whole this is in the fall of the royalty as part of the plan for the you know one world government, but I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that the royal family isn't using chemotherapy, but it makes a great press release. Sure, it does it? It absolutely does. You know, but I mean, let's not let's not jump to conclusions. I actually haven't even had a chance uh, to watch this yet, so I figure we could just all learn together and and find out exactly uh, what's what's been up with uh, Catherine. Let's look at her fingers and make sure it's not AI. Months. Yeah, we'll look at all the stuff. That's that's what we're here for. Tonto say, don't get all chemo sabi on me. I to say thank you personally for all the wonderful messages of support and for your understanding whilst I've been recovering from surgery. It has been an incredibly tough couple of months for our entire family, but I've had a fantastic medical team who have taken great care of me, for which I'm so grateful. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London, and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy, and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. This, of course, came as a huge shock and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. Why do we care about that? As I've said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body, and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too, as is the love, support, and kindness that has been what shown by so many What are we being so sold here? It means so much to us both. I'm definitely getting that. I'm, that I'm, I'm sensing a sales a pitch. Family, I'm just not exactly we now need some time, sure space, what I'm supposed to be buying. Oh, no. You think, I, occasionally, you think I see her my the tips of her fingertips are like bending, man. And I look you know what that means. When I'm able. Yeah. But for now, Do you I'm think climate change caused her cancer? At this time, I'm also thinking of all those whose lives have been affected by cancer. For everyone facing this disease, in whatever form, please do not lose faith. Here or comes hope. the, here, you here comes the Pfizer commercial. No. Our new cancer no, vaccine? Just, just uh, you know, Buckingham Palace. She, she does that, look... That, that, that was not going to for Pal Pfizer. Come on. That, that, that was Kensington Palace. Whatever. Kensington. It's that, that's where same shit. Are. It's the same shit. I mean, she does look sick, sickly. But she's always looked like that. I thought she was don't, a little more... Don't you realize, Rob, everyone else in England and other places... Had the 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 furor had been building for over three months, but it wasn't until the deep Kate edition last night when we went all in on the weed squinox I mean, and laid I, the feet to the fire that finally 
I mean, they scrambled, I think, within about nine hours after we ended our broadcast. Yeah. Finally, they had to say something. Now we're on their ass. That's right. I mean, everybody was uh, so concerned. Like, who gives a fuck? Who, who really gives a fuck? Well, I didn't, I didn't give a fuck I, until, I, until, Rob, I found out uh, from somebody. I can't remember. I heard it from somebody on the internet, so you know it's reliable. <clears throat> I found out that apparently one of her, um, what do you call them, slaves, had reported that she had not laid eyes on the Princess of Wales for the last 18 months. And this is someone who would have come into contact with her pretty much on a daily basis. And as soon as I heard that, I was like, huh, that's interesting. That's an interesting. Either that chick got fired or she did. Anyway. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people die suicide with two bullets in the back of the head. Or killed when they're in a car in a tunnel in Paris. Anyways. Yeah. Or lose control yeah. of their Tesla. Right. Yeah. And it, it happens. And it, it, and, and it happen. just drives into a tree. And, you know, um, you know, you don't want to be ha- too hasty down the road there. Shout That's out right. to Hastings. That's right. <clears throat> if my car drives into a tree. Um, I guess uh, it wasn't me, guys. All right. <laughs> Maybe Speaking it was one of those of, remote control cars like on Toy Story. You know, that that is something that we haven't really discussed either on Get Fact Harder or on Open Lines, is the Boeing whistleblower. Oh, oh, you know. We've uh, talked plenty about the planes falling apart and they don't want us to fly as part of Agenda 2030. Like, we've talked about all of that shit. But we haven't talked about this dude that offed himself. This is the weird thing about it, you know. That the hotel that's... that he was at had that nice breakfast bar room area with the big screen TVs, had a coffee room, it had a computer room. He had a nice room, nice tub and everything. So you you say it was a happy it was a, Yet a happy when place. they found him dead, he was in his fucking whips out in the parking lot with two shots in the back of the head. Clearly suicide. I didn't even see the details other than he was under the under a car and had committed suicide. Was there any more details in the uh, specifics under, of as it? As in, like, uh, under the car. Yeah, he was, like, under the car. I mean, I suppose that's that's as good a place to do it as any, right? Well, you did leave out one other detail. Uh, he had given two days of four days of testimony, and uh, he's yeah. not going to be giving the other two days of testimony right. against Bowie. Yeah, I, so I, I, I saw the interview, I guess his last interview before he got killed. As uh, Bill Gates would say, well, <laughs> he's dead. So, you know, you got to be careful. I mean, That's right. In, in a nutshell, basically, he said he found 100 violations on his last trip to this uh, particular aircraft manufacturer, went back and they you know, kicked him off the project, went down there with people above him and the same inspectors that were working with him and uh, came maybe back. The, and he maybe he got that, ran over. Did he get ran over with that vehicle? I bet when his head hit the ground, it went Boeing. Anyway, I, think, <laughs> I, I heard it was a firearm. But anyway, uh, he uh, he talked to uh, one of the inspectors when they came back uh, who was being lauded for a great job and he asked the inspector, did they really fix all those things that we had pointed out? And the inspector like rolled their eyes and said, no. <laughs> Wait, what was that inspector with a girl with big glasses and a really smart dog last name gadget? I'm just wondering. Go inspector gadget. <laughs> go, go gadget MCAS. Don't tell the pilots. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I flew a 737 to Denver a couple months ago. I Living flew, dangerously. Holy shit. Were you white knuckling it the whole way? I was uh, trying to. Stay well, I guess positive. they weren't having the problems a couple of months ago. Like it's only been I, I, within the I, last I, few weeks, right? Actually, it was. I actually, as time flies, it was like the end of February. My flight back mm. was. March 1st, but I flew back on an Airbus, but I flew there, you know, when you're just doing the scramble to try to get the 
cheapest um, one-way flight without you know taking stopovers. You don't really pay attention, and they don't tell you what the flight is. I was making fun of my buddy who I was going with because he sent me his like flight thing for his flight there and back to see if I could you know match it or get on it, and it was uh, two seven thirty sevens, one each way, and I was busting his chops about it. I had booked mine, but it hadn't told me what I was flying yet until I checked in. And when I checked in, the first one, it was 737. I was like, ah, Jesus. Is there like a DB Cooper air passenger kit you can buy so that, you know, in case, you know, the wall panels and and engines catch on fire and pieces are flying off the plane that you can just go out the back and just DB Cooper it, you know? Jump out, skydive no. for a little bit, and then pull your chute like you know the beginning scene to a Bond movie or something. Come on, dude, it's got to be mean, a way. I think only Spirit has those planes now. It becomes like a MacGyver kind of thing. Oh you to, yeah, got to pull down you know people's carry on and see what you can weave together real quick with a granny oh, with I, knitting skills and you know make a makeshift parachute. Grizzle, save uh, we've got breaking news everybody. coming in from the airport. Unfortunately, <laughs> the Spirit airplane you were planning on flying on <laughs> that Spirit Airlines flight along with every other flight for today again canceled. Sorry, Rob, go ahead. <laughs> I I saw something years ago, like 10 years ago where they were inspecting like Southwest and they found like 60% of the fuselages had cracks in them. <laughs> and I was like, oh, nice. ah. yeah. sounds like a real positive thing. Well, when, when you find out that people who actually care about safety and their jobs, like they won't fly these planes. It really stands out. Did you guys happen to see that undercover Al Jazeera thing where the people were asking the people making the, I think it was the 787 Dreamliner for Boeing. And they were asking, I think it was like 10 out of 15 production workers they asked randomly said they wouldn't fly one of those planes that they were building. <laughs> yeah, I didn't right, see but it, that, but I heard people talk about it. That was the non-union scab plant down in South Carolina, bear in mind. <laughs> the non-union scab plant? Well, yeah, that, that's not the Boeing plant with the skilled engineers up in SeaTac there on um, Puget Sound or however you right. say that. Well, wasn't wasn't that factory in uh, South Carolina <clears throat> courtesy of uh, Nikki Haley? That's right, Nimarata yeah. Rondawa. That's right, making America great again. Oh no, wait! I guess that's the the person she hates, right? That does the MAGA spell casting on the populace. Do you think his? I, I get them think, all confused, uh, man. Like I don't pay attention to any of them. Do you think that CNI old fuck Trump will even make it? He's getting all shaky and stuttery. He can't seem to get his shit together either. So uh, I don't know I if mean, it's unless like, they unless oh, they need it, him for it, something else. Yeah, is it sure, part of the psyop? Wait, wait a second. Is George Burns still alive? You know the the Hey God movies, Oh God movies. I George mean, unless, Burns with the cigar. If he's still alive, he'd be the best president right now. Can we go for dude. some? Wait, I he might you. be 120 now, but that would be awesome. Can't we like dig out Marvin uh, or Morgan Freeman? Like, I mean, he's been the president a few times in dumb movies. I mean, isn't that what we're looking for? Yeah, I, I would mean, love to be able to. Of Obama. I just, I would love to be able yeah. to endorse a presidential candidate that publicly uses tobacco, whether it's cigar, Ooh. snooze, never happened, um, pouches, vaping, never um, happened. Doing tobacco. Maybe. Obama Obama smoked and he promised Michelle he ran for president he was gonna stop smoking and he was chewing nicotine gum or something. But it turned him into a raving lunatic and he started like sending drone bombs all over the Middle East and killing a bunch of kids and women. I I guess don't yeah, you know, the moral of the story, don't, don't take chew nicotine. nicotine gum. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't, well, that's yeah. what happens. You'll when end you up smoke killing Salem's. small brown children. Look, Rob, you, you realize he was smoking Salem's instead of Newport's. Don't put that on Newport's. I mean, whatever Big Mike says, Big Mike fucking gets, as far as I heard. But wow. That's and, your and, and for those of you smoking Marlboro menthol, wow. 
just wow, man. <laughs> a buddy of mine, Blows folks, my mind. Um, he, he but, went he went skiing with me and he had a couple of like coffin fits where I thought I was going to lose them. And then there's a, Newport a bowl. Reds. That makes it even more confusing. Newport Reds. But but the most wildest cigarettes I've ever smoked in my life. Shout out to my homie from um, Bandung, Indonesia. Not far from Jakarta, Indonesia, where Barry Sotero grew up, a.k.a. Big Mike's um, bitch, Obama. Um, Power and bottom. anyways, um, Marcus Pangabayan from Bandum, he would smoke the Gudang Garam cigarettes with the fucking cloves. Where where you're and, living, Yona, you should be hmm. rolling your own shit from stuff grown in the yard or grown in somebody's oh, no yard. Doubt. Oh, you talk about the fucking lung busters, man. Those clove cigarettes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that, that shit will make your lungs that's, bleed, man. That's not good. Your lungs aren't like, supposed dude, to bleed. In Indonesia, there'd be like three and four year olds before they're even in elementary school out there, just like fucking chain smoking, man. Damn, it's crazy. It, it's not. That's good. commitment. It's not good. Yeah. Uh, there, there's been a couple documentaries I mean, about you gotta that. Let people how, live their own lives, you know. How the tobacco companies have gone to Southeast Asia and they're just like big pimping over there. There's no oh, sure, restriction yeah. on commercial. Cut a deal with the government so they look the other way. Oh, fuck yeah, you can clean up. They used to do it here. And then apparently like people got upset about it or something. So, As like, I recall eh, you gotta go on do the it movie else, uh, huh? Idiocracy, Hector Elizondo Mountain Dew Camacho President of the United <laughs> States, he was publicly using um, tobacco there when he was accompanied with um, uh, what was that guy's name? Uh, not sure. Anyways, um, yeah, no, that Ron- it, it was not sure. There you go. Rondo has electrolytes, Jonah. That's right. That's why you put it on your crops. Right. That's what Absolutely. plants crave. <laughs> <laughs> All my friends are saying how nicotine's a nootropic now, so that's the new thing to attach to it. That. I mean, and you know, you probably know from your your people's history, man, of just like tobacco and like the the good that comes with the tobacco, but just like we live in such a festering, pus filled, you know, garbage filled, chemical filled world that the the crap that they call a cigarette nowadays is probably the furthest thing from it, right? Well, I'd like to think that the uh, fire retardant bands on the side of the cigarette that enable it to be marked an FSC or fire safe cigarette each time it gets to one of those bands really adds to the flavor <laughs> um, it, it, it almost smells like crack you know I, I start scratching my neck like Tyrone Biggins every time it happens anyway. it's there for your safety yeah just like just like everything good in the world right Drizzle <laughs> yeah, you literally have to hot box to get through that band or it literally just it goes it goes out you have to relight the cigarette hmm it's wild, uh, What's but up, you know six? how you doing tonight? I should be rolling my own. But really. Feeling on the good, pl- man. <laughs> on the on the plus side for the millions, it's killed. It saved like three or four grannies who would fall asleep smoking in their bed. So, don't you feel better? Yeah, yeah. think of the good. That's that's what that's what they would tell us, right? That whoever came up with these these weird ideas. But uh, yeah, that that's an interesting concept of like. We're going to do this thing to protect a small amount of harm, but it's going to cause a greater amount of harm. Where the heck have we seen that before? <laughs> yeah, they, they've, they've got to have like products, um, you know, damage control where they make sure the people using it stay alive as long as possible. They don't want to kill you off, but at the same time, they want to poison you slowly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were talking about sadism and stuff like that in the sexual world earlier when uh, you were talking about the Fifty Shades of Grey stuff there, Yona. But, yeah. uh, I mean, our, our society is very uh, master and slave, even though they're trying to ban those worlds, those words. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, it, it's funny. It really is. You know, I think one of my most favorite speeches of all time has to be by um, uh Hajj Malik Shabazz or Malcolm X, and uh, the speech is called "Message to the Grassroots," where he explains basically here in good old um, 
what Gerald Salente accurately describes as slave landia, um, that there's basically two kinds of slaves. There's the house slave and the field slave, or, or I think it's house Negro and field Negro. That's right. But anyways, um, uh, to use Malcolm X's terms, but, you know, the way he explains it, you know, to, you know, when, when the field Negro is like, man, we got to get out of here. We got to get to freedom. And, 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 you know, and of course the, the house Negro is, where are you going to go from here? Where are you going to find better clothes than this? Where are you going to find a better job than this? Where are you going to eat better food than this? You know, um, and so today we still have the two kinds of slaves. Um, and, you know, I, yeah, it's I'm just we call them the managerial class now. Right. I'm instead of house a, Negro. a field slave. I'm, I'm, you know, high Yona with the lower caste. And, uh, you know, I grew up in the professional managerial class with the rest of my family that has, um, uh, now disowned me, which means I'm free, bitch. Well, they I would also call me. them the indebted class because that's what that lifestyle gets you into. Yeah. I mean, once you start building and you really buy into the dream that really by offering the system, a corporation, you know, whatever your loyalty for years on end in order to earn a living and, and kind of make it, well, then like you really ended up sacrificing the majority of your time on earth serving to pay off other shit. Yeah, no matter what, and, and just always stressed out, stressed I'm out like a in the I'm, heat of the moment. There you go, six. I'm in the man. Yeah. I'm in the managerial class now, so I, I'm going to talk some shit from that side. So I've worked my way up. I had like the lowest level IT job and worked my way up to doing help desk. Uh, like Rob, a, if you'll push the light on line number two, Karen would like to talk to you. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. yeah, I worked my way up through engineering, putting up with a bunch of people's bullshit. So, you know, I'm the manager. And right before I became a manager, I had to uh, find Jesus to keep my job so I didn't have to get, you know, injected with poison. And, uh, well, hallelujah. Yeah, Thanks. that's the way you got to do it. <laughs> oh, oh hey, hey, Rob, boss man, uh, can I take another smoke break? Whatever it takes, man, as long as the work is done. I don't give a okay. fuck about what you're doing in your personal time. Oh, but <laughs> see, that's true. Well, I, I like wasn't going to clock I, out, I, though. I, I, I manage engineers. They're self-sufficient. You don't, you know, put them, you know, direct them towards a goal. They work now, towards now the goal. Now, what, what, what kind of engineers? There's all kinds of engineers. IT Locomotive engineers. engineer. Oh, IT. I was thinking like Casey Jones or something, but there's not a lot of steam trains these days. I don't think so, Six. You know. better watch their speed. You know, there's trouble ahead. Right. I mean, if they need perform if if they need performance enhancing drugs to get the job done, who am I to criticize? As long as the project comes in on time, we're good. So I wish the MLB would take that stance finally and just let the Roid Mongoloids go crazy. I, I've had that stance for 30 years. Like yes. let them have the biggest craziest steroided up fucking beast for our entertainment if it's going to be the bread and circus let's get the best we can get you know six if you take enough uh roids as sammy sosa you literally turn from black to white like a michael <laughs> jackson transformation yeah how in the world does that happen because like i've seen the vitiligo i've, I've heard the <laughs> theories but i don't know if it just peels off all at once like that right yeah like, like, like a splotches like, uh, like you uni uh, yeah uni <laughs> uniformly it's usually like a splotch speaking yeah. of the island of hispaniola um are, uh, have we fully invaded haiti yet not yet I was about we're, still about that. That. we're still just threatening to invade haiti i heard there were some minerals there we could use so I, long. I, I figure they're probably waiting for April. Uh, again, once once Mars is is good and set in that retrograde motion, they'll be like, "All right, now send everybody to Haiti because we know it's just going to get fucked all to hell." That's my prediction. Has Barbecue done a official press conference yet? 
like as as like new de facto leader like is he taken to the airwaves like in some kind of like marvel movie where like his well, face appears now, on screen um he i saw a propaganda out... video of him like helping people <laughs> yeah yeah i was about to say um uh Jimmy uh, Cherizier put out a like a documentaire where he was going around in the uh, right there on the slums, the southeast side of uh, Port-au-Prince, and, and you know, the and the cool thing is like they were like he's cool. They're not eating. He's not eating me. Um, <laughs> like you know, because I I've remixed several um, Haitian um, singers and such and. and you know, I haven't studied French in France, and I also studied um, Québécois and in, in Quebec in Canada at the uh, Quebec uh, Université Laval. But then also, then going head first into this uh, Haitian, which is uh, like a creolized version of French. So, um, kind of like the Cajun guy on Waterboy, you know. Yeah. But you know. And so it's rather unintelligible whenever they get to like um, French verbs like attendre or prendre, they, they don't even conjugate je prendre, tu prendre, uh, nous prendre instead of prendre, you know, and, and anyways, there, there's just weird things about it. Um, and I noticed that when Jimmy Cherizier or Jimmy the barbecue, because his parents were barbecue vendors with a food truck. So right. Had you nothing your, to do with name. cannibalism whatsoever. Jimmy Barbecue, for, yeah. for those of you, you want that. your um, your LARP, you want your LARPing to be more realistic, is what you're saying. When you hear Cherizier speak French, he speaks fucking French with a Haitian accent, <laughs> rather than speaking straight up Haitian. Like whenever I hear, um, for example, um, uh, Wyclef Jean. I was just Fuji's about to offer that example. Speak, yeah. Um Aïsien, it's that creolized patois sounding Jamaican sounding Aïsien with the same cadence and frolic. Whereas Chizier was speaking the very formalized French, but with a Haitian twang, which tells me he's been highly, highly, highly educated. Mm. Oh yes. And comes from just either from tremendous wealth or has been betrothed to tremendous wealth. So that there well, apparently immediately he's a just sends up. So he's got connections. It so sends up the, flags the in my mind because anyone that is that insanely rich and has access to all the best weapons money could buy tells me he's not grassroots homegrown he is well foreignly funded well because you don't and graduate I, to that level without having to get past certain gatekeepers right like let's not kid ourselves that you get to have that much clout where you can launch a revolution without bumping into some uglies so er, everybody broke right? in haiti man everybody yeah. broke in haiti uh, most and people walk around it's a, a different playground in haiti and I, like and it'd I, be a I, lot I, easier for a warlord to take over down there than it would be pretty much anywhere in the United States. But, you know, you have to go back and look at the uh, history in Haiti with Papa Dog and Baby Dog and, you know, Le Tante Makut. Isn't the Dominican you know? Republic the other side of that island? That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, As we thriving. pointed out on our previous episode, the United thriving. States has so thoroughly denuded Haiti of trees That's that you one can of the literally reasons I have see my, the boundaries. Juan Soto jersey on. Because I knew we were eventually going to get around to, to talking about Hispaniola because, you know, Yona's on. So we got to get mean, multilingual and shit. It, oh, is yeah. a, it is a sports ball breeding facility, so. Yeah. I guess, it really I guess is. That's, that's, and, that's, and, you know, um, I would say rich. eventually um, we could expect Craig Pasta Jardula to be down in Hispaniola simply because he has this great charity for El loves, Baseball. Baseball. I There's heard he loves handing. That. There's absolutely Lo nothing wrong with that. He, he loves, takes like bats and balls and, and he you likes know, handing out his balls to poor kids. 
<laughs> yeah, pasta is on the scene, man. Like he gets he gets out to places. He got out to uh, Hawaii whenever that stuff was going down in Lahaina. Like he does on the spot interviews. Like he he does some pretty cool stuff, man. When it comes speaking down of to the pasta, I I wonder journalism. how intense it is right now for our home girl from the kids outs there, Fiorella Isabel, where oh, she wow. joined up with the. She uh, She the RT like, network, and she actually lives in uh, Moscova. There, um, she geez. like got her communist flag flying fully. She believes it in that nonsensical movement. I guess we were I, all dreamers once, weren't we, Rob? Yeah, um, Pasta seemed like he was coming around, and then he left. Uh, then right he now, left. six. I'm just picturing that that meme of Vladimir Putin shirtless riding a huge bear through a splashy river. Yes, absolutely. You've really I mean, got I that on your mind tonight, Anna. At least I have I'm going from meme to meme. It's just propaganda. nothing but memes. I think you, it memes now because of you, Drizzle. It's your fault. Yeah. I oh, think, of course. Uh, Blame it on me. I think Vlad should have the salmon in his mouth instead of the bear in that picture. So if you're going to work <laughs> on it. <laughs> it definitely would have made it more dramatic. That's for sure. I don't think Absolutely. anybody would have been, you know what? Maybe that's what he should have done, Rob. Because I don't think anybody would have fucked with him if he had actually, you know, done that picture instead. Like, that's, just, his teeth. that's savage, man. You, you don't fuck with savage. You know, I, I just want to let uh, you know right now, Drizzle, this whole thing in Moscow with the shooting, don't sleep on Liechtenstein. <laughs> mm -hmm. Could have been Liechtenstein. There there could be connections between Moscow and Vaduz. After all, Liechtenstein calls itself a principality. I'm just saying. Anyways. Hmm. Well, our I, friend well, uh, Chris... I don't trust House. those micronations did post us uh, something where he was calling out a video to be fake. I didn't really even get a chance to jump into it. I, I just caught it last minute uh, before I jumped on here, but yeah, already people pointing out, you know, sort of uh, in inconsistencies in videos. Let's say, I hate to say it about an atrocity, but like when you see something, you don't immediately want to deny it. Like, Oh, that's a false flag, whatever. Hmm. Uh, and, and because I think that so many people, it's easy to do that in alternative space, right? Like it's easy to just jump on here and be like, it's the end of the fucking world. Oh yeah, and then this it's is really easy to just run with anything. This is a well, psyop, and that and yeah. Hey, yeah, you don't want to just fall for anything, um, Sandy Hook line and sinker. You know what I'm saying? Oh, boom. <laughs> well, the, the first the first too video soon. Soon. the first video I saw on X was somebody from like a balcony view as these guys had apparently like come in the front door and were shooting up the the windows and just like randomly shooting. And this person's like just calmly, like stepping over, like you know, viewing them with the freaking camera, the cell phone. It was like that's. Uh, I don't think I would be doing that. I'm trying to get the fuck out of there. They, they may have been embedded with the team, Rob. They were there to document everything, you know, and then <laughs> dance afterwards. Dance. Yeah. Maybe they mm -hmm. could dance. I need to roll out to this because I got to do a stream on TMP for Nature Boy. But uh, I will say that uh, after the Syrian gas attack stuff that was covered by Jimmy Dore, because uh, shout out to Pasta for working with Jimmy Dore there too, um, just that changed my mind on what can be possible whenever it comes to false mm. flags. Yeah. Because, because I'll tell you what, those videos of like the, the kids, like when I first started seeing the kids rolling in from Syria at the time that it happened that day, that shit really bummed me out. Like I was telling everybody around me, like, yo, have you seen this? And like, I felt like a mark afterwards after watching the videos exposing that shit. So it can happen to anybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? and, and that ended up having like the, the, the bitch from CNN going down there and she's like, Oh, smell wait a the second. Backpack. Let me see the backpack. Oh yeah. Let me yep, smell I it. I smell Saren. Yeah. I, I smell yeah. lethal gas on it. That was yep. so ridiculous. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then, uh, gentlemen, I and appreciate then you had the OCP and all them. Thanks for hanging out, Six. Have, good seeing you, Six. Have a good night, yeah. Six. Take care, guys. It's nice meeting you, Rob. Take care, man. Well, you know uh, what else was really interesting about this week? Not just the, uh, the event in Moscow today. Do you, do you know who was in London? Earlier this week, paying a visit to Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. No. Uh, Voldemort Zelensky. 
No. No, good guess, oh, but no. Oh, I want him to get the Zelensky curse. I mean, Zelensky <laughs> went was hanging out Justin with Justin Castro the, would also have been a good guess, but it Kamala. would also have been wrong. That would, have, that would have been wrong. No, it was not Kamala. As a matter of fact, it was the aforementioned Barry Satoro paying wow. a visit to Rishi Sunak, and he made sure that the cameras outside of number 10 Downing Street got a good long shot of exactly who it was going inside. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And today we go uh, boom. So we kill some folks, folks. <laughs> I don't know how a puppet becomes a player. Is that just like misdirection? Kind of thing. Hey, hey, Jonas Brothers, two words for you. Predator drone. We'll never see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sadly, there was a lot of um, people who did never see are, it coming. Are, are we going to have Nerd Prom again this year? The uh, White House Correspondents' Dinner? Well, if Michelle lets me have, if Michelle lets me do it, you know. <laughs> Why wouldn't we have it? <laughs> Nerd prom. <laughs> who who the, are they the, going to get to host it this year? The, Who's the, the biggest sellout thing media is, this year? Have you noticed how many like X, quote unquote, X mainstream media people have come into the so called. Um, unaffiliated or independent media mm -hmm. as it were into the internet space yeah i prefer and independent now media. like uh just taking on a whole new life um some such as you know, and, and 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 not all are the same you know you got like blue glasses chick uh what's her name allison morrow allison morrow right um and blue she's got glasses. a great wine selection there by the way check out her wines um and then uh <laughs> and then on the <laughs> other side you got like uh fox news alum uh clayton morris who had also tried his fingers and you know managing um financial portfolios for some people that um well according to their filings he defrauded them and they won and he lost so that's it's a matter of legal record but uh now he's got this redacted show I, I, there's, 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 right. there's more examples his, make mistakes his, yeah. his person his personal persona is dipshit like um but but i'm saying it's like <laughs> It's it's kind of like imagine if you will, if you like fall out of the NBA, but then you end up making it in like the Ice Cube League. What he, what he he just what, reminds what, me of another Tucker. What what was that Ice Cube basketball league called? The one and one and one or what? The Big Three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. man. They're only yeah. on X too. I found that out today. Yeah. Yeah. yeah not on right. Rumble. Ice Cube did not sell out to Rumble. He sold out to Elon. Which, ah. I mean, it's, you know, is Elon, Peter Thiel. I mean, what's what's the difference, really? He was going to go around to the independents and expose all that stuff, last I heard. Sure like, he was. Sure he was. Yeah. Yeah. He just didn't get one on any real independent people's podcasts. But anyway. Right. I, I, I just want to see. Rogan, right? You I really want to see yeah. um, Elon Levy, yeah. um, the other Elon, Elon Levy, former spokesperson for the Zionist state of Israel, who had been doing all those awesome interviews until he hit that roadblock. And I uh, didn't know Elon was a biblical name in England the other That's day. That's interesting. Um, but, Rick? you know, Israel has several networks, several different news channels and such. I'm just hoping and praying, please, now that he's no longer official spokesperson with the leading edge of Hasbro on Americans and, you know, other English speakers, now maybe he can finally get his own fucking news show like Jen Psaki and others do whenever they leave their spokes duties behind and step away from the dais. They normally go right into podcast or some other TV show. And it would be interesting to see the other sides of uh, an unrepentant war criminal like Elon Levy to see, you know, what what, what kind of, um, you know, 
<laughs> is there room for growth in, in his portfolio on screen there? Because um, it's, it's been pretty wild. I mean, honestly, all I ever heard my whole life was that the Israeli Defensive Force and the Zionist State of Israel had the bestest intelligence ever, that Mossad was the bestest ever, that they mm -hmm. were the smartest, just baddest motherfuckers at the game. Best trained. And, and, you know, from what I've been seeing with the soldiers parading around in lingerie and the just laughably fart stink fucking propaganda, I'm just like, wow, I was, really underwhelmed. Very, I was on very I was, underwhelmed. I was under the impression a cat couldn't cross that border without, you know, yeah. full armed military response. And the next thing you know, you got paragliding jihadi marmots just taking the shit over. I mean, five different breaches. Like, what are the odds? It's almost oh, yeah. like... Maybe that's why they kept calling it like 9-11, right? Because it was just I, like like breach after breach after breach, and it's just unexplainable. Times 10. I mean, there's Black Hawk attack helicopters shooting the, uh, the people trying to flee the massacre. I mean, that was humanitarianism at its finest exactly you know the story about the kibbutz barry um has been blowing up particularly in the israeli media because there are so many survivors of kibbutz barry and um and well particular to the fact that it was friendly fire that they came under not hey, attacked by uh, not Nothing Hamas. Nothing says sympathy like friendly fire, Yona. <laughs> yeah. I, I believe it's called the Samson Doctrine. Is that what it's called? I mean, we'd rather have dead people than hostages. Let's be honest. And, and tonight's Hebrew uh, word for those uh, learning the Hebrew language, Sherutim. Yeah. That's S-H-E-R-U-T-I-M. Sherutim, um, the, the the facilities, or as they say in England, laboratory. Canada would say washroom. We're, talk we're, we're, we're looking for the washroom. What are you talking about? And uh, we just call it a bathroom. But anyway. Yeah. But it's more when pragmatic just to, to have uh, bodies, Rob. Because it, it's just better from a logistical standpoint, from an economic standpoint. It, they're easier to manage, you know. Absolutely. When I was in uh, Denver um, last month, I was uh, standing outside a bar smoking a joint, and these guys came up with a uh, cell phone video on, and they were trying to get me and a friend of mine to say some phrase to, uh, I guess, in support of like the Palestinians or something. I, I don't know. It was a language I didn't understand, and I was like, nah, man, I'm good. And my friends like saying the phrase, and I'm like, dude, you're gonna be like being pro broadcast across the Middle East now. You're, right. uh, People are gonna come Mar hunt you down <laughs> for whatever the oh, fuck it I is just, they're telling you to say. I'm good, man. Nah. <laughs> I just remembered the funniest fucking story. There was this double agent spy named Jonathan Pollard in the United <laughs> States. Yeah. Stole the nuclear secrets to build um, nuclear missiles. Yep, for Israel. Then went back, gave it to Israel. They went over to their facility at uh, Demona, Sherutin, bathroom, Sherutin. The they go back to their facility ally. there uh, in Demona, build these um, Israeli nuclear missiles they call Jericho missiles. Then... They actually give some of them to their apartheid homies back when they're both on that apartheid, you know, tongue kissing love fest there between South Africa and Israel, you know, mm -hmm. back in the day. Um, and uh, back when, you know, it was so apartheid, it was decaffeinated. Um, that's, that's an Afrikaans joke. So um, uh, they send them Jericho missiles down there. Well, now, blah, 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 fast forward to modern day at the ICJ and. South Africa's like, hey man, you know, we've still got some of these Israeli, you know, they gave us yeah. the blueprints and Civil everything War. for it. You know? And and the best part of all, that guy I mentioned at the beginning, Jonathan Pollard, United States let him go, sent him back to Israel. That's right. Turns out he wasn't such a bad guy after all. Yeah, that's all I mean, right. Yeah. That's all right. 
It's not like Israel actually has nuclear weapons or a nuclear program, because we know that they have one, because he gave you, you one. Know. But, but wait, wait a second. Never you mind. Know. You know, we have what nuclear say, weapons. Israel has Russia nuclear has nuclear ambiguity. Weapons. Remember, it's, it's Israeli nuclear ambiguity. We're not sure. Yeah, it's but China like has nuclear weapons, Yona. It's Maybe. not like any of those people are gathering red heifers. They're genetically bred right. for some They're not building altars purpose. for blood sacrifice. Okay, they're not planning to, to blow anything up. All right, none of this stuff like, is going on. Yeah, I don't know. They're overreacting. I mean, it is kind of ridiculous that all the, the freak out is over... Iran might maybe could possibly one day think about having nuclear weapons when Israel is loaded down with undeclared illegal nuclear weapons program, never what? having submitted to a single fucking IAEA. I, 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 I have a thought exercise for you guys. What if the Zionists decide that that particular land... Lie. Yeah, that that particular land is no longer the Holy Land, and they want to go to Argentina and live with Malay, and you know, invent some kind of you know mythology about that being their new Holy Land. What okay. do you think of the odds of that happening? Well, hello, Patagonia. Hmm. What are the odds? Not, not maybe not the odds of that happening. Let's say what 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 do you speculate would like trade? You know precede that kind of transcendence <laughs> oh oh i could tell you exactly what would precede that there would be a group of investors in the city of london that would immediately start plotting <laughs> it out and 200 years later as, be jews as, all over the andes anyway yeah, sounds about as, right <laughs> as, 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 as steve poikin would say let's go to speculation island yeah. see you know uh, i mean i've i've heard theories that <laughs> That's one of the reasons why they're trying to clear out the population in Ukraine is that they want to they want to go back there now. I know the best place to send them. Send them to the what the Argentinians call Las Malvinas and what the British Empire calls the Falkland Islands. Uh, oh, no. Britain and Argentina have already thrown some hands over the Falkland Islands more oh, yeah. recently you know, in the eighties. Um, and, uh, That's I mean, a big for deal. real fucking combat dude. And so what better place while there's already a conflict between two parties than for the Jews to go in there and just take it from both of them. I remember our, as a little kid, Reagan coming on TV talking about the Falkland Islands. I, I misspoke. Places. I shouldn't have said Jews. I should have meant, I meant to say Zionist, because they're not one and the same. Granted, yeah. but it's it's difficult to get people to admit to that ideology if they're not I, getting paid. I, so, I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that was you, one of those sort that. That was one of those wag the dog things, so you're not paying attention to the whole Iran Contra thing that's going on at the same oh, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the same thing in Antarctica with the Emperor penguins, right? Some emperor penguins are Zionists. <laughs> Some emperor penguins are Jews. Not all Zionist emperor penguins are Jewish. And not all Jewish emperor penguins are Zionists. It depends on what type hmm. of fish they eat. I, really I think sounds... it's called gefilte fish. Gefilte fish, maybe. That sounds like some Don Rumsfeld kind of uh, philosophy. It does. The, uh, no I mean... knowns. I didn't no, realize the emperor penguins were that enlightened. <laughs> Practicing Maybe. the Pentateuch. The Jonas. It's the co coldest place on earth, man. Coldest place on well, earth. Well, yeah, for a reason. Obviously, they're there because they're being punished. That means they're not the chosen people. I don't know what's wrong with these emperor penguins that they haven't been able to figure this out yet. Why can't they go, just go to Swaziland down in Art Antarctica? And, you know, if people hate them so much and they're New all Schwaben trying to kill land, them, maybe New, New Schwaben land. There you go. What if, God, what if God's chosen people are the Hawaiians and we're all supposed to be wearing flower necklaces every day? 
a lay. I'm down with called, that. I think. I'm okay lay. with that. Get, get, get laid. There you go. Everyone gets I, laid when you step off the plane. It's true. I, I, I kind of thought like humanity was a little Aloha. bit, a little bit uh, mixed to the point like it doesn't really matter anymore. But it seems like people like hold on to that shit as a badge. You know, it's my my Jewish ancestry that makes me an asshole. Okay, <laughs> never really felt um, that sounds like that a my, personal my, problem to me. Yeah, sounds like my ancestors. My ancestors never really influenced me in any kind of way like that. But good yeah. for you. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I don't know a whole heck of a lot about my ancestry. I know a little bit. You know, I'm curious. We doesn't do influence need to go back. what I do today. I feel like <clears throat> I feel like uh, we need to circle back, Jen Saki, to uh -oh, what did we miss? The event in uh, a little place in Texas called uh, Uvalde, Uvalde County, Texas. You mean when the cops are just kind of hanging because, out you know, outside? Yeah, I, I want to compare it to that little shit stain outside of Houston with like fifty people that had. Um, uh, I think a police force of 150 or something, and most of them were on part time, and they were all going down to Houston working on the clock for this municipality, but being private security guards and speed traps on I-69. Um, you know, all this dumb shit. Um, There's so many of them. Was Uvalde the one where there was like but McConaughey, Uvalde, McConaughey was, at the White House? Was Uvalde? What, yeah, Yavaldi yeah. was the school shooting. It's down near the Mexican border, but, near the Colonia. Yeah, where they that, they found that, out that, that was, eventually the the, the, the some the of the cops, cops were off. actually shooting the kids. That's right, and it was the yeah. customs and border patrol guy at the barber shop getting his hair cut that actually got the firearm from the barber that then went in and dropped um, Salvador to the ground. There, the shooter. Uh, yeah. Anyhow, they were yeah. standing. They were standing down. But like, oh, here's the fucked right. up thing yeah. about it. Okay, crazy shooter guy Salvador kills the relative. What was it the the granddad? Maybe um, takes his truck, wrecks his truck into the ditch by the funeral home. Grandmother killed his grandmother. Yeah, grandma and stole yeah. the whips. Wrecks uh, by the funeral home. People in the funeral home see him wreck and everything. They call the police. They say, hey, he, he wrecked, and he just ran across the road, jumped the ditch on the other side, and now he's running over toward the uh, Uvalde school school property. Sounds like somebody And then, hearing... like, literally 10 minutes later, he then gains entry into the school. Right. Sounds and like so some... I'd always thought, well, between the time that he wrecked and then, you know, the 10 minutes there, you know, 10, 15 minutes from when the police are first notified, and this happens in the middle of town, three blocks from the police station. Um, why did it? What? I mean, they should have had him before he ever even got in the. Ne never mind. Never wait, mind. All right. So wait a minute. Don't what, think about it. Why are Why are we circling back to Uvalde? Because <laughs> in the case of the crooked cops, they're in the shit stained suburb northeast of. Um, Houston up on the lake there when uh, the local news channel in, in Harris in Harris County, uh, Houston ran their story. It was Channel 6 um, and did their expose on this um, police chief. And he ended up getting fired. There was outrage. They fucking cleaned house. Meanwhile, the police and Uvalde and all this cover-up and everything else, I am wanting to circle back there and look into it and find out Surely those motherfuckers got found out and they cleaned house on them because that probably not. I, I mean, don't think anybody fun. lost their job over that. No. Everybody just went about their business. Yeah. Nobody, I mean, all those other but, cops in Texas got fired. They, somebody gave them the stand down order. They obeyed. Yeah. Because, you know, I, I don't know how anybody could. I mean, it could have, it, it's, quite possible 
that it could have just been complete incompetence on the part of everybody who was on the scene because it's the first time that they'd ever actually handled anything like this. And even though they go through training every so however often, they still don't know what the fuck they're doing because they get hit with that fucking adrenaline surge, you know, when the moment comes and they start flipping out. That's it's completely possible too. And you can take advantage of that situation afterwards and kind of twist it however you want to. Drizzle, I, I, I just connected the dots, Drizzle. I just connected these dots like David to the motherfucking Ike, buddy. These All these school shootings, todos los tiroteos escolares, all these school shootings, man. They're not uh, massacres. They're not atrocities. They're ritualistic sacrifices. Yeah, blood sacrifices. It says something with a and bunch we're of cops. Have quite a few more yeah. of them between now. It's and the, the same first of thing. Man, that's the same shit we're talking about with the fucking red heifer cows, man. Well, same thing we're talking about. We with are the, in the, sacrifice the, season as of right now. Have, yeah, have they, have they sacrificed those motherfuckers yet? I know, like they're already three years old now. What, what are they gonna? They gonna do it in prime time on on CBS? Is that what they're going to do? There's going to be like, watch us sacrifice these red cows right here in order to bring around the Antichrist. Sounds like an ABC kind of thing, to be honest. <laughs> no, I'll tell you, the craziest videos I've ever seen in my life are the videos of the alleged bereaved parents at that school. I think it was in Connecticut. Uh scammy hork or whatever it's yeah, called yeah. um and uh stop <clears throat> teasing the algorithm man and uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey I, I sue me for three billion dollars you'll never get it um and uh and anyways th that one in particular i'm just like you, you it, it, it just doesn't make any sense at all it's like you really like i just surreal uh, i mean I, I and and the thing of it is are some of these people is, is it just a matter of we've gotten so many generations progressed into this continuing nepotism that the retod factor is just off the charts mm -hmm. and that they're just not as good they're as, poisoning absolutely. they're poisoning everybody from the vaccine, from like the moment you're born um, to the poisonous food that you consume as a child. Um, I don't know. Like I, I have three kids and when they were little, they didn't want to eat anything. Ch chicken nuggets and French fries were like what you could feed them. And I'll tell I you what, Rob, humanity took a giant step forward. I think it was sometime late last year. Correct me on this. If I'm wrong, Drizzle. When, Humanity at last realized the answer to the great riddle. How do you save planets? Easy. You With eat bugs. You set to save planets. You eat bugs mm -hmm. to change the weather. You're welcome. All right. Duh, you get rid of the people. And you know, if you're rich, you have <laughs> ten you have ten kids and well, so there was this uh, scholar, <laughs> right, who in the in the not so distant uh, past figured out this equation for how you so, how you uh, correct for climate change, right? And so this equation, like it has a bunch of variables in it, and one of those variables uh, invariably has to be zero. And like you just, you can plug a whole bunch of different shit into there. Uh, but eventually you just end up killing everybody. Yeah, I know that guy. Yeah. Um, genius. Absolutely I he, genius. I think he's a doctor now. He used to be this IT geek back in the day. And he was very non monopolistic and crushing his enemies. And then he hey, Rob, ha have you ever watched any Guy McPherson videos? No. Oh, I think so. Uh, well, good. Don't. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, he's a Stuart Little. The sky is falling type guy. Just 
this I, I'm curious uh, if if this came across uh, either of your radar today because <clears throat> it came across mine. And I thought it was uh, an interesting day for this particular story to make an appearance, of course, today being Skull and Bones Day. Uh, shout out to all the great secret brotherhoods that uh, came out of what we now call Germany. Uh, and there are many Three, of them. Three, two, two. That's right. <laughs> so for, uh, according according to Dem Watson boys over at uh, what is it, Modernity, I think is what they're calling it now, for the first time in 700 years, so not since the Black Plague of... Uh, you know, the, the Middle Ages, global population is now set to decline. I it's saw that. We're not growing anymore. Congratulations. We did it. Yeah. Well, there's wow. no need for a Georgia Guidestones now. You can just blow them up. All you needed to do is vaccinate yeah. 80% of the world. And look, wow, what a surprise. Maintain Earth's human population responsibly. I, I know right. people who we did it, had Joe. the vac I know people who've had the vaccine and have had kids since then, but I don't know a lot of them. <laughs> well, not anymore. Not anymore. I don't know. Is there gonna be a whole generation that just uh but misses out? My question is it going to pass on to the ones who didn't get it? No, my question with this news is what are they what are the 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 globalists, the parasite class? What are they going to do now? They finally achieved their goal of reducing the human population. So, well, they got that what? rock over the top of the hill. Now let's push it down the other side. Let's get the ball rolling faster and faster. I mean, what are the projections say in 50 years at the current rate? Because the replacement rate has died off in just about the every Western country. The replacement rate is way down. And the, and the imagine, only reason... The imagine only, if they could get a civil war in the United States going simultaneous to World War Three. The oh, only reason man. they can pretend that the replacement rate is even close to there is because of all the undocumented immigration in every Western country. They've been flooding them for the last 20, 30 years. Hey, hey, don't forget about me. Procreator, the Yona. I got eight kids. So this I is... got eight kids. How many people got eight kids? Mm. I got eight kids. This is the Not graph that they're showing. Um, Love my children. That's a pretty uh that's a pretty steep drop. Now that runs from 1950 on the far left to the year 2100. And this line right here, the thick blue one in the middle is the global population. Wow. Yeah. I think the only, the only places where population is uh, increasing are the African countries that are getting more developed. And, and just uh, think, if you plot India, the Yona, India is growing. If, if you India plot the, well. uh, if you can take that that graph you had up on the screen there, uh, Drizzle, yeah, and you plot the Yona from 1974 to present, <laughs> my line actually direction. starts at the bottom, <laughs> and it right. just keeps rising steeper and steeper. I just finished on twins, man. I'm almost straight up at this point. Yeah. Well, ch You're ch like China's a hockey stick graph. <laughs> ch ch China's uh, Belt and Road Initiative is much different than the old U.S. IMF backed <laughs> loans, where they impose a dictatorship in a country with uh, you know socialist conditions on the population, like have been done as the U.S.'s imperialism. So they're going in there. They're actually building useful infrastructure and waiting for them to default on the loans that they but, can't But wait a second, back. Paul Ehrlich. Wait a second, Paul Ehrlich. <laughs> so you're a, telling it's a, me... It's a different scam. It's the same result, but... You're telling me infrastructure. That, <laughs> you're telling me the global population is now actually going down, no longer going up, 
Right. I thought we needed all this eugenics because the human population is just going to keep expanding and keep expanding and keep ex- it's a it's a it's a population time bomb, right, Paul Ehrlich? There's a lot of Chinese people with egg on their face what? who well, it just went you know, dr- we drown just their second drown wow. their kid their second Feel kid in a bucket or throw it off a building so they didn't have to take the the social shame of having that second child. I mean, will somebody think of them? Now they find out, you know, years later that now the population is actually dropping. India is going to be, I think India just overtook the largest population in the world. But, yeah. you know, if, if the if the global trend is shrinking population and lowering birth rate, that's going to make in the near term, to speak of trends like a Gerald Salente there, trends in the news. Well, the, the pockets of humanity on this planet that do procreate profusely, uh, pro tip, they're going to gain much more prominence. Like, I, I mean, I think of like all the Mormons out in Utah. Like, nobody has bigger families than the members of the Church of Jesus Christ of uh, Latter day Saints, right? Mm. The LDS. Um, and, and then you've got all these different sects and branches of the Mormons with their own little Mormon compounds going on. And I mean, my two sons are going to be in demand. They're unvaccinated. You know, they're, they're pure oh, at this Lord. point. <laughs> they're just going to spend their, their days as like milk and cattle. <laughs> I, I, mean, I think that's what the third, things. I think that's what's behind the third hole in the barn. You know, the three holes you're not supposed to put your dick in there. <laughs> that's, that's hole number three. The old milking machine. Uh, uh, right. Which Milken was an accountant, I think, in the Bush administration. <laughs> was he? Machine. No, right. I thought it was Reagan. Yeah, yeah, Reagan. Michael Milken. Yeah. But yeah, Reagan, Bush, same thing, yeah. basically. Well, actually, it was the same. Yeah, the Reagan Bush administration. There you go. Yeah, the the CI direct CIA director quit and uh, became a politician. Right, <laughs> right. Because that or, makes or, sense. I, I got another one for you. The well, CIA director quit. And became a, a correspondent for CNN. <laughs> I mean, as as much as we all know that there's uh, other elements running the country, it definitely is good to have the front man be somebody who's on board. But it, it's been that way. But back in those days, when you look back on it, it's like you know the history of it all. It's like those guys were uh, just basically out there laughing at everybody, knowing. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, we're uh, Bill Clinton, George Bush, George H.W. Bush. Dude, take your pick. Bill Ha-ha. Clinton went on the Arsenio Hall show woo, and woo, played woo, saxophone woo, 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 on a, uh, on a woo, live woo, 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 national woo, woo, woo. broadcast. That's right. While his brother Roger was getting high on the weeds in the green room back there. Sure, I, I don't know that. Probably. What? You know. But we, people don't remember that. Young. They don't remember we needed, that. We, we needed a young woo, hip. Woo, 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 we needed a young hip president after Reagan, who was yeah. I, he, Bill I Clinton, a fucking actor. He was Bubba actor. Clinton was America's first black president. Rob, when after he did Arsenio, man, you know I if you didn't vote for Clinton, you ain't. Black. I mean, there, there. Yeah, honestly, you know, there are people that would argue that it was Thomas Jefferson, but. Yeah. The the yeah. reverence for Reagan was such a like a shit show joke. Jesus. Like dur- during his time, the CIA was like making crack and like spreading it around and uh you know, trafficking drugs and weapons and doing the yeah. enterprise's work. Oh yeah. Like, they they well they were running the fucking enterprise literally like a couple blocks down the street from the White House. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh no, people people don't don't for whatever reason and I don't understand how there there are still people out there probably people that I know that think Oliver North was a fucking great American hero. 
They don't understand I, that he was a, but, a fucking Driz, drug Driz, lord. Driz, he was... He was on Fox News, dude. But, I don't know how you could say that about that great. I mean, I know teacher. technically <laughs> he received a presidential pardon and his record was expunged, but Oliver North was convicted of felony crime. I Damn straight he was. He was the freaking pivot man for all that freaking shady activity. <laughs> there had to be a guy who was in charge of it all. It he wasn't was. Ollie's was fault. It, it wasn't Ollie's fault. It was Point Dexter. I mean, he was Probably. obviously the, he was obviously the chosen fall guy. It was G. Gordon Liddy. It was Haldeman. It was Eric Ehrlichman. It was somebody else. I, I it, remember. It was him. I was young when he was up there testifying in front of Congress that he was proud American. And I remember when Reagan for, was alerted about this. And Reagan, I think we had uh, to watch Ronald that in school, Reagan, man. Yeah, Ronald I think so. Reagan had a special message to the American people, and I'm going to form an investigative I, team. And we're going to investigate we're gonna get ourselves. To the bottom of this. We're going to get to the bottom of this. And right. if you look into it. They always get to the bottom. Nothing burger. Nothing I sold, burger. Nothing I sold cocaine for my country. God damn it. You motherfuckers. You don't know what I did. I did cocaine for my country. Damn it. <laughs> Gave my body for this country I love so much. Wore it out with cocaine. I can't be mad at Ronald Reagan for loving jelly beads. By the time he was inaugurated into the White House in 1981, he was already suffering from Alzheimer's. Jizzed in turd holes, um, stepdad, Pierre Trudeau, <laughs> his real dad's down in Cuba. Anyways, um, his stepdad, Pierre Trudeau, uh, when meeting with Reagan the first time, said he, he was aloof and... He had to have people guiding him from one room to the next. And, you know, you read it now, and it's like... Oh, Damn, that sounds like Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Like, you wow, think, dude. You think, you think the CIA is still salty with Kennedy? Is that why he's not a viable option to Trump and Biden that nobody wants? <laughs> dude, I don't, I don't think, like, I don't think you should put RFK Jr. in charge of, like, his own life, let alone anybody else's. Like I think well, I don't I don't think we're seeing the entire picture on him. I really don't. Well, I think we're only being shown selected slices of his life and we're only being shown those for a reason because if we saw anything else, the whole damn illusion would fall apart. Well, his personal, Let me tell you something. His personal the, life the, is a the, shit show. So. That's what the I'm talking drug, about. The drug doubt RFK Crawling on the floor, David Hasselhoff, cheeseburger <laughs> eaten, you know, shit stains in his white undies with, with a room full of 13-year-olds. They could be out there. I don't know. These are unsubstantiated speculations. He was a junkie. I mean, he was on Epstein's plane a couple times. His uh, ex-wife was a good friend, the one who hung herself, uh, hung out with Gis Jelaine. Jelaine. Yep. That's so, right. who knows what kind of dirty shit um, makes him go out there and spout that uh, Zionist bullshit? This is the uh, thing I'm about it. Exactly. I'm, you just nailed it, it Rob. He's it, ride or die for Zionism. So, they got some serious fucking shit. Yeah. He, he oh, was yeah. a weak man. He was a weak oh, man. Yeah. Put pussy fucking oh, took, yeah. took him places that probably... Well, dude, um, remember, he was he was traumatized at an early age, man. They I mean, murdered not... his dad, and then remember, yeah. he tells the story. He's like a little little kid, and he's having to go old. and identify his dead murdered father. That's fucking traumatic as hell. He was doing heroin when he was sixteen, according to him. Wouldn't <laughs> you if you had to yeah. go through that shit? If you had that money and there was, I'm sure there was people enabling, here you go. Here, try this. This will help. Because I'm sure he was fucking acting out. And they were like, here, like the the old uh, bear heroin for kids to calm your yeah. restless kids. Well, and what A better couple way generations to control someone, that. you know, than, than going with them throughout their entire life. And if they ever start getting out of line, just be like, remember what we did to your father? Yeah, but I mean that that really makes me think though the fact that he, I mean everybody pretty much acknowledges that 
you know, Epstein was just a front man for a Mossad, um, CIA, um, MI6 operation. And he probably fell into the honeypot at some time when he was weak, doing drugs, you know, banging a bunch of different women. Yeah. Yeah, you you better toe the line, Wobbly Bobby, or that that night of heroin and Special K and midget throwing and other things we're not going to mention. It's going to get out. You got a great political career there. Be terrible if something oh, happens to your non-career. Deal. I'm yeah, sorry. What I mean, what political office has he held ever? He's just I, got I children's he health defense. I don't think any. How I was many ballots about that earlier today? How he many, was a good environment. He was he was a good environmental lawyer. How he many state the, Hudson ballots River cleaned up for out, out of the out of the fifty U.S. states that will be voting for a president this November? How many states is RFKJ on the ballot? He's going to leech. He's going. He's going to leech onto the Libertarian Party. He's going to get because um, right now he's, he's not on the Ohio ballot. He's not well, on the West Virginia ballot. He's not the on the Liber- Is he just going to be a writing candidate and that's how he's going to win? The Libertarian Party has 50 um, state ballot access. And he's, uh, I think it's like in June or July, their convention. So hmm. he's probably going to make I that shift was, at some point. Is he running as a Democrat? No, he's an independent currently, but he doesn't have the ballot access. Like you said, he needs a lot of people signing a lot of signatures. And if the common normie who watches <laughs> cable news thinks that he's an anti-Semite for some reason. I mean, yeah. to me, RFK, pushing. RFK seems like another faint from the Democratic Party as just basically catnip for batshit BBNMWs, but it's a total dead end. It's just another grift. That's my read, but, you know. M-ho, I won't right? vote for him. Don't worry, you, you won't be able to. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can write it in. Write them uh, in with the Easter Bunny and the work. Great Pumpkin. There you go. That's too much work. <laughs> <laughs> RBL pointing out in the chats there, they passed the Vaccine Safety Act in 1986, indemnifying vax manufacturers from all liability. Fuck Ronald Reagan and his cancerous ass. Recycle bin line. In his cancerous ass. In, uh, in fuck Ronald Reagan yeah. in his cancerous ass. Thank you. Which he's been dead for a while. That's. Ew, that's kind of gross, RBL. Shout out Zombie Reagan. Mm. Can I can I get some brains? All right, let's see. We got just under twenty minutes to go to midnight, gentlemen. So I guess we got that's all the right, serious sir. stuff out of the way. Ladies and gentlemen, if you need to use the bathroom or anything else, we got about five minutes before the seatbelt lights are going to be going on as we taxi for our main approach. Uh, Pay no attention to the two missing wall sections of our Dreamliner here. Just stay to the left-hand row. All right. Anyway, back to you, Drizzle. So uh, this morning, (laughs) actually, there there was a a big story today. There were quite a few big stories today, Uh, as a matter of fact. (laughs) So does anybody even remember at this point what happened to Candace Owens this morning? She got fired. She got fired. Yeah, she got fired. Not only that, she got fired on Twitter. Bam. Wow. Yeah. Bam. Dumped by the Jews. Yeah. Dumped by the Jews. She dared question the Jays. I mean. That's, uh, That's right. I, I what, didn't is, think what does she this would... do for for uh, you know the the election? Like how does well, well the Daily Wire? How do they justify the fact that they can't take dissenting opinions? Someone who's so free speech and we got well, they they take money from Israel. That's their defense. They're like, well, we take money from Israel, so we had to get rid of her. It's obvious, uh, right? I w. I think I saw the money shot. Somebody had the video, yeah. the little video clip of her saying, I don't know about 
you know, Israel. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I just oh. want to shout out uh, W. Like the the and, and, yeah. and Ben picked it up, and, and yeah, the like person on the other motion. end of the line was like, she's got to go. It's like slow motion. No. Poor Candace. I guarantee nah. when, when Ben Kander, he was wearing his cowboy hat. I mean, she plays Guaranteed. her probably. She, she plays her like partisan silly game and has three million like social media followers. Uh, I'm sure she's going to land on her feet. Just remember, Rob, Candace is Owens because she borrows. At the she same time, owns. at the same time, you can donate to her now of in course. her time of need. Just like, uh, just like you can donate to us because anyone who is in media and is smart has already gotten that set up. That's right. Why have a middleman who takes part of your money? Fuck all that, son. Yeah, if you got three million Directly legitimate followers, three three million legitimate followers who want to hear what you have to say, why not? W. T. Steed points out in the chat there. Well, say, now people, me oh, and she millions did say of Macron's others. Macron's wife is a tranny. Uh, she said that. She was like all about that. She kind of put herself out there on that one, didn't Thank she? Thank you, she, RBL. Like, staked yep. a reputation on the fact. Yeah. That, yeah. That's uh, the dude. She was uh, like, Steve I know that's that, an Adam's uh, apple. I'm going to give the shout out here to the autistic comment <laughs> here. Well, now me and millions of others of my generation are, are autistic. And in fact, today, amongst American boys, it's nearly one out of four. Yep. I hope you're not That's vaccinating all those eight children. Uh, well, three are already grown up. Uh, and then I've got these five younger ones. And uh, first one had a few on a very limited schedule and that that was it and no more i didn't question it when i was raising my kids it wasn't you know it looked at the whole uh, autism thing wasn't as prevalent and that's the was, crazy was thing because it was bobby kennedy and children's health defense that filed the suit and it, uh, and it was no not them no it wasn't him he just gave a supporting brief the suit was filed by Aaron Siri on behalf of uh, Del Victory and I their can. people from the ICANN. Mm, yeah, I can. Informed mm. Consent Action Network. And uh, anyways, they were trying to get the all of the the safety studies and everything else that have been done on the um, current vaccines that were on the children's recommended schedule. And, you know, they'd gone through continuance and continuance and stonewall and stonewall. And finally, after two years, the, uh, what was it, the um, CDC and the FDA both had to admit, well, oh, we don't have any of that. We, we don't it. have anything to give you because we stopped doing those studies in 1986 because we don't have to. Yeah, there's nobody and liable so there's anymore. The, so there's nothing to give you. I, I don't I don't think that's something that And that's uh, when I stopped. That's when I stopped. When 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 I got that revelation, I was like, okay, I'm stopping. I just lost all trust. Anybody having kids in their twenties, uh, most likely unless they have a parent who was aware, doesn't know that in nineteen eighty six that they, you know, gave immunity to liability for all these vaccines and they've just continuously pumped them out. And the whole system has been captured since then. I mean, the people go from regulatory to the companies that make the, the frickin' poison. And the, uh, the studies are done by companies that are paid to get the result that the vaccine, uh, you know, the, the front company is looking for. Or well, yeah, you don't get, like, like you don't remember, get return uh, work. Brooke Jackson, who was a whistleblower into that very process yep. you're describing now, Rob, spoke with our uh, mutual friend, uh, Ryan Christian, last American Vagabond, about that on several occasions now, you know, giving updates over time on just how much of an ongoing cover-up this is. And then, of course, most recently, uh, the myocarditis study that uh, was produced under... Uh, the force of a uh, 
Freedom of Information Act request with uh, all 100 and some odd pages redacted out with big yellow blocks, which, you know, we covered the other night. It's, it's just insane. Um, the, the, the This method of um, slowly poisoning the population has now really picked up pace. It's really accelerated. Um, well, when you, and, and it's rather per pernicious and malicious. When you finance sports ball, you have a lot of leeway in poisoning people. Um, let that be a lesson. So, speaking your, of sports ball, how get many your vaccines, everyone? <laughs> and your I got two uh, questions for Drizzle. Um, to uh -oh. wrap up here, <clears throat> two questions. Number one, how I many never fucking, saw her before in my life. How many athletes <laughs> have dropped during sports play in the last three? Three or four years. Oh, good um, God. and then over a hundred. The other question over is: over um, I lost count at like hundred and twenty exactly. or something. Yeah, it is just this... became so commonplace. It was like I don't even look anymore. There's a, another. Uh, uh, there's been like three guys uh, in soccer just this week having heart attacks on the field. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Young guys who only played in the leagues for a little while right. who died. So the other question yeah. is, um, is this Friday night open lines for 322-2024? Is this going out on the uh, YouTube? <laughs> yeah, we're going to put it on YouTube. <laughs> of course we are. Why wouldn't we? They still let Not us brought to you there. by Pfizer. <laughs> Fuck no. Great. I'll keep publishing there until they, <laughs> until they take us down. Fortunately, that hasn't happened yet. So... I'll keep hopefully posting. everything. Hopefully everything I said was HR appropriate. Yeah, I think we'll be fine this week. We get in <laughs> trouble on YouTube because we trip the copyright algorithm, which is why I don't put any of the music shows on YouTube because I know they would get taken down immediately. So uh, I try to approach this from a you know a a, a higher intelligence perspective than just like trying to shotgun the world with fucking everything. Well, then I guess this is a bad time to get you to play my latest remix of someone else's song. Then, huh? Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> that did get us in trouble a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> That's all right. Not... We'll be able to jailbreak out of it, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I've... Hopefully we're not uh, programming the Terminator that's coming to get us. Probably. We probably are. You know what's crazy? The last three times I've gotten a new cell phone, I've had to spend three hours each time jailbreaking the phone. The last fucking laptop I got here, this new one. Again, three hours to all this shit fucking jailbreak it and get it out of fucking Microsoft prison mm -hmm. and out of this fucking... I got God bad damn, news. Man. I, got, I got bad news for you, Yoda. There's hardware uh -huh. components that are keeping track of you either way. Oh, yeah. So. Absolutely. Yeah, but but I mean, you know, now half the shit you get when you first get it, it's like it won't oh, let you go out to, like, and you, you can't uh, get it, loaded. You can't even get over to a regular app store or like it's like what the uh, fuck, man? Oh yeah, it's so all you gotta go into fucking and you gotta go into fucking um design mode or I don't know what do you call it, administrator mode or programmer mode. Yeah. I don't know, I, I do all this do, 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 do. Like, wow, I get to the secret menu. I, you know, I had to research it all. Well, got, yeah, because once, once they phone. saw that people would put up with that on their mobile devices, then that started translating to PCs and stuff. Yeah. And now everything's fucking apps. I, I was this telling bullshit. my I hate this uh, fucking ecosystem. I was telling the people I work with about Yandex search engine, how it's uh, kind of like Google used to be before it became a. Uh, censored uh algorithm yeah and i did a search for james corbett on yandex and the very just the name james corbett i didn't do corbett report the very first reply was liberty radio corbett interview that could, no it was corbettreport.com and then it was a bunch of different things that corbett is legitimately in and then i did it on google just to see side by side and and I, I was surprised because I had done this years ago, and I don't think the actual Corbett report showed up for like 20 items. It right. was like it, it was in the top seven, 
but like the first six were different things. He actually had an IMDB page from wow. the, two, the, the 2007 Corbett Report. And it had Richard Grove and a bunch of, I guess, people that he had had on the podcast back then. You know, I'm not a fan of award shows except one. I'm wondering and that what would be the Dino Award. Yeah, the, the, uh, yeah. the, yeah. the, the fake news dinos. I still have Corbett this year's on my fucking desktop. Fucking epic. Fucking I, epic. I love Corbett's sense of humor. You got to keep a sense of humor when you're dealing Absolutely. with this dark fucking material. Well, you either laugh or you cry. Sometimes both. Sometimes at the same time. That's right. Yeah. They they tend to yeah. call that a mental breakdown, though, so don't do it in public. It's a pro tip uh, for everybody I, I think, listening. Um, uh, what's his name would call that uh, the, the mass uh, formation kicking in. So when do you think the uh, CIA, CIA operatives who are coming across our southern border are going to you know go into some shopping mall or um, amphitheater with assault rifles and body armor? Seems mm. like the, the, the writing's on the wall. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if or, I see that. Uh, I don't, I don't I know mean, if you can get away with that. In the, I don't can think we tie, you can. Yeah. I don't think you can, can get we, away with that in the United States. It has to be the same flavor that we've had, right? Yeah. Can we tie it? Can we tie it to white extremism anyway? <laughs> well, white now, if we're going to go that white. angle, Rob, do you think the pa- right? the patriot the patriot front's going to attack? <laughs> the FBI's homeboys God, are going to. <laughs> Christ. They're going to assault an Folks, uh, Be on the lookout. They're going to shoot themselves getting out of the truck. Of, just <laughs> be gonna, on the lookout, folks. There's going to be groups of men, sausage fest, no pussy, glow right. on the dark legs, socks inside of Birkenstocks, all khaki pants, and I they mean, all claim to be surfers. Right. If for, you see nothing all... but khakis, go in the opposite <laughs> direction. That's right. You know, for all we know, the 322 has altered their initiation ceremony, and now they're like unloading in U hauls and fucking khaki pants and fucking nationalist flags. I mean, it. We we <laughs> are in clown world, right? So the more Anything's cartoonish, possible. the more likely it is to actually manifest in reality. More ooga, please. Ooga. Did you see them uh, expose one of those falsehoods of the Mandela effect with the uh, the fruit of loom thing that everybody remembered? Right. Yeah, I've known That's about that one for a while. Like that, I I specifically remembered that I shit. I did too. And like they tried to say that wasn't a real thing, and somebody just you know, be careful was, with those. Uh, be apparently, somebody with, those, with some uh, really old drawers like brought him out <laughs> here's the thing off. about it rob be careful where you rip those fruit of the looms the gate will show uh, anyway. <laughs> well it usually does after a few years anyway so i mean you they got like three minutes three it's minutes true. left let's, let's go to reptilians what do you got <laughs> <laughs> we covered reptilians last night. That's, yeah, yeah. See, this brings yeah. us Damn. back full circle, right? Because that was the whole Damn. reason. Yeah, yeah. We, we that, had a that they had to put out that on thing the with Kate. Yeah, that's right. We totally exposed Damn. them last night. Yep. I missed the bus on that. I'm sorry. Yeah. I the abdominal surgery was to replace the reptilian skin. Yeah, it was. It, it was Big H that that actually cracked the case. Yep. Um, and I'm I'm a little bit upset that he's not here to take a victory lap tonight, but that's all right. That's all right. Hopefully, the word dude, gets to him that uh, the, he forced their hand. It's the awesome. It's Liberty who, Radio uh, history. Once again, did. big shout out to Radio eighty four twenty four for doing the rebroadcast tonight. Much love to my homies and the great Smokies. Oh yeah. OCO to all my homies back in. The homeland, the big mound, which Dolly Gee's talk say stay together. Going on, all right. You got the last word, Rob. Uh, all I got is peace and love to all the beautiful people out there. Well, that the wasn't long enough to fill the time. Damn. I, I mean, it's still not I midnight you... on the east coast yet. 
be the light in the darkness. Be the solution. Don't sit around waiting for someone else to come save you. You are your uh, own hero. Smoke Bruce. more of the weeds, folks. And don't forget to find out more. Fuck around. Find out. You're at 12. That's right. So, hey, bad hopefully... religion said it best, right? Don't be a henchman. Stand on oh. your laurels. Do what no one else does. Hopefully, the uh, April 8th eclipse doesn't kill us all. Well, we're, we're going to find to... out because we're going to be live on the air for the whole time that it's happening in uh, in our neck of the woods. Don't forget to tune in for that, ladies and gentlemen, April 8th. Um, uh, we start broadcasting at noon central, one o'clock Eastern. Prepare for the Iranian terrorists to attack Smoke your weed every lines. day. <laughs> Smoke weed every day. Smoke weed every day.